Hi everyone, welcome back to Easy Tech Steps. In today's video, I'll guide you on how to install VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 11. This powerful tool allows you to create and manage virtual machines, making it incredibly useful for testing operating systems, software, or learning programming. Notably, since VMware was acquired by Broadcom, VMware Workstation Pro has become free for personal use. First, make sure your system meets the requirements for installation. Your computer should be running a 64-bit version of Windows 11, have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, and support CPU virtualization. To install VMware Workstation Pro, you'll need a Broadcom account. At the time of making this video, Broadcom is not allowing new account registrations. However, account registration will resume after January 21st, 2025. If you don't have a Broadcom account, you can download VMware Workstation Pro version 17.2 from the link I've included in the description below. Alright, once you're logged into your Broadcom account, navigate to this link. Here, select the appropriate version of VMware Workstation Pro and download it. Since I'm using Windows 11, I'll choose VMware Workstation Pro 17 for Windows. Click I agree to the terms and conditions, then hit the download icon to start downloading. After downloading, proceed to install it just like any other software. You can leave all installation options at their default values. And that's it! You've successfully installed VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 11. With this tool, you can create a new virtual machine by clicking Create a New Virtual Machine. In the next video, I'll show you how to install Windows 10 on VMware. The link is in the description below. Don't miss it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to Easy Tech Steps, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss future guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.